Hello everyone, Equipment World, and welcome to my, my new build idea for my dual will do list build. The new passive skill tree, it's, I like it so much. It's so good. I really, really like the new, uh, how they have made it. And I, here I'm gonna go over my idea for my dual will do list. This is an idea, I may be changing something, but as I can see right now, this going to, I mean, this curve is going to do even more damage than it is doing right now. and perhaps have more life than he had before, but he's going to have lower block chance because block chance have been nerfed. It's it's almost impossible to max out your block with the passive skill tree. So let's go straight into it. My dual will do list or a dual list of course. And uh, I'm gonna I, the, I'm gonna start doing it's taking attack speed and then go for the melee physical me, physical attack damage and the life. Very good note. And get two notes here, uh, armor, evasion, and life. They are a very good notes here. And then when I went down here, to taking Master of the Arena and taking Art of the Gladiator. Art of the Gladiator, the before it was called the acceleration. This note is so fantastically good right now. Increase accuracy, ignore all mo movement penalties from armor. It's just a very good note. I go then after I taking that uh, my plan is to go down here take Da Vinci's I can't pronounce that I'm sorry for that and uh, go down here take uh, coke and steel Shane it's not the same name it's not the uh, leather and steel anymore to get to the dual you can say the dual wheel cluster uh, cluster in here and take blade barrier and um I can't pronounce that I'm sorry. So I'm not even gonna try, but look at that uh, attack speed increase, increase attack speed by 20%. That's massive, absolutely massive. After taking that, I go for iron reflexes and I'm gonna go and get tech skin. And then on the road here, you're getting the, probably getting all the dexterity you need for the build. After taking that, you're gonna go for the long journey. First you can, thing you can do and go up to get the very big life cluster up here, as you can see. Or you can go, uh, or before you do that, this is a, a pretty, actually I want to say this is pretty much when where you are in the end game, you're gonna get this area here. This is pretty much end game area. But you can get the bear sacking before you go up here, that's, that could, could be a good idea, you d just need one extra point to go up there to get bear circuit. It's a good amount of extra attack speed this year. It gives you 18% more attack speed if you have this cluster here. You can get this one, but the notes leading up to these notes are not that strong actually. Give you some attack speed, but you can get dueling for that extra damage. It's giving good damage, but take that later. Then I went down here to uh, when you go in when you're gonna go down here or here you can go for the damage here blade of con i can't pronounce that i'm sorry and get uh, this is this build going to do with one axe and one sword so both swords and axe note going to benefit you so get these notes here this one and this one they give you a huge amount of uh, damage and attack speed both of them then go for bloodless and lost for carnage very good notes and give a, give a good amount of life to you. And enemies cannot leech life on you, because why not? Then I went up to the road. You can, you can build this build as a marauder by taking uh, this path here and then take the same path as you did before, but you can take the attack speed that the duelists have here. If you not want to sacrifice two points, uh, one point to get it, but you can do it. So, uh, so you can play this build as a marauder, no problem. Then I went down up here to get diamond skin, which are very good. Look at that elemental resistance, 15%. And then I go to get born to fight. Before I uh, take any more, I go and take in judgment, get more life and armor and even some flask notes to get here. But before you take in any of these notes here, I recommend go up here to take a resolute technique. When you get Resolute Technique, you are free to take all the really nice damage notes here. The sword notes here. You can take this one. If You can actually do this build without Resolute Technique if you're taking this one. 
which can increase your accuracy and taking this one will also increase your accuracy you pretty much don't need resolute technique but I, I, yeah, I like to know that I'm going to hit every time I'm fighting against enemies and uh, the crit chance is going to be low anyway so it's not it's actually it's actually bad in damage point to get resolute technique because this is not a crit build we're building that's pretty much it then you can go for the life here pa pa uh, pact of the warrior path path of the warrior i'm sorry and get Sent sentinel because it give you uh, re a resistance and give you a good amount of uh, armor innovation and that's pretty much it you could take this life here if you want it's not so many points from from it but yeah i don't know you can get the drift blade but the tree i think the, the, i think this is the best path to go i have did right here so tell me in the comment what you think about this one the, atta the attack damage is going to be very high much higher than my the attack damage and attack speed going to be much higher than the one i have right now but uh, as you can see right there only 70 extra percent to block when dual wheeling that's not what I had before, so my block chance is going to be much lower, and you don't have any choice and to have a lower attack speed. There are no, not so many more nodes for bl blocking when dual wheeling. You can get weapon astrology, which give you two percent, but that's just two percent. It gives you some extra damage, but that is a long way to go. And uh, you get many nodes here. And don't actually need finesse. It's it's not that bad. You give you attack speed, but it's not good enough so I don't recommend going for that you can sacrifice some life to get to survivalist but that's once again that's a lot of points to get there you can get herbalism when you're on the way so it can be worth it but I don't think it's worth to go for survivalist it's a little bit too many points instead I go a lot for life and damage instead well I hope you guys like this uh, this little uh, skill tree planning I'm doing, I'm gonna student planning for my other characters the, the other character I'm gonna plan for after this one is my uh, crit lightning arrow ranger which is going to be a little bit of the same but not exactly the same but a little bit the same we will see what I'm come up with but I hope you guys like this skill tree, It's I may be exchanging some things I don't really know yet, I will see what's happened but I hope you guys like this skill tree and I see you guys next time. Take care everyone and thanks for watching.